What's good, Backyard Barbecue and Barbecue X, man? This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Today, aka the Grill Father. All right, today we're getting it in, y'all. We're gonna test another product that I um that I highly need with my new smoker I'm about to acquire sometime this month. So y'all stay tuned. God willing, y'all gonna see it. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, today we're gonna use my Inkbird, right? This is the latest and greatest uh, technology. It's the first one with the 5G. Um, they brag and boast about the uh, uh, faster speed and low latency. We're going to put this thing to the test, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So check it out. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And we're going to get to cooking with it. So I already got my chuck roast on. So this, this cook is not about the chuck roast and how I season that. You already know salt, pepper, garlic. Yep. There we go. On the chuck roast. Got some handy instructions. Oh, man, this thing clean. This thing clean. We're going to go ahead and take the plastic off. And we're going to go from there, y'all. Obviously, you got to charge this thing up. Taking a look at it. So I'm assuming there's a cable in here. Come on, ink bird. Oh, another fun fact with this one is, of course, I needed these, my probes. So from a temperature, but this thing has six probes. It says it can support up to six probes. Hey, for those of you who don't have the uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, or you do have that and not the 5G, still support it. Anyway, this one right here, we're going to test the 5G uh, on my network. I got one, two, three, four probes. Okay, I can work with that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can work with the four probes. One's going to be for my meat. Or a couple of them going to be for my meat, and the other one's going to be for the temp, the ambient temperature. So as you, I don't know if you can see it, but we're going to give you a, we're going to give you a close up. So don't worry about that. We got three ports here, uh, four and five, and then the six port is going to be oven temp, oven temp, as in your uh, ambient temperatures. So that's what these come in from. These clips right here, pretty simple, and they just sit there. This is going to work perfect. Like I said, my smoker that's coming um, is made of steel, metal. And I don't think that the meter probe that I do have is going to allow me to utilize the Wi-Fi with it, right? So I needed something that I'd be able to hook up my cables through because I got ports going into my uh, new smoker. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And I needed something. This inkbird going to come right in handy. As the app is going to download, we're going to charge this thing up and we're going to get right to it, y'all. So stay tuned. We're going to take it outside. We're going to talk more about this unit and see just how it will or not it works. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, ladies and gents, welcome back. We're going to talk about a few keynotes before we go out and play around with this ink bird. Um, I actually like this color on it. Pretty uh, pretty unique, actually. Uh, I do need to take the uh, plastic off, but I'll take that off. I might just leave it on until uh, the heat bubbled it up. But anyway, uh, let's talk about a few things. Uh, note number two. We already talked about it being 5G and how, how fast it is and the low latency like i said we're going to stress test this this uh gadget out and see how well it works because i need this to work for all of my cooks and every cook y'all see me on my smoker with gonna be the ink bird uh, until they come out with something new and then i'll just use that i just i just like the uh ink bird product but anyway uh the combination of technology and art this thing here look at this champagne gold i like this little ring around it little bling bling that's uh the latest and greatest on colors and stuff, especially if you're in the jewelry. But anyway, uh, this combination of technology and art releases uh, your cooking, barbecue, and grilling passions in your hands. Heartedly. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. It's even got a little kickstand on it. Here's where you plug in your uh, charging port. I got the cable right here. Um, this thing works wonders. Like I said, the, and I'm going to give you a close up three ports over here port one, two, and three. Four or five, and then the oven port. This is where my handy dandy probe for ambient temperature will go. And while I'm doing this and I'm talking, we're gonna go ahead and plug this one in, just so you can see. Uh, I just I did go in. You keynote. You do have to go in and register this. Uh, not really register the device, but you have to do a create a login, so, and then you can utilize the device. You have to add this particular device, and then it's just as simple as this. Just that quick. I plugged it in. Look at the temps. Seventy six point seven. I'm going to put my fingers on there just to see if it goes up to about 90-something degrees. And you can see how, how fast and prompt this, the temperature is actually going up. Uh, so picture that being the meat. Uh, of course, this is the oven temp, uh, ambient temperature, but all of these pros are pretty much the same. I will test these later uh, to calibrate them 
not even calibrated, just to make sure that they are uh, freezing temp and then bubbling, water bubbling, just to make sure they're on point. Temperature 90 something degrees. Uh, close enough for now. But anyway, we're going to keep on moving, y'all. Uh, keynote number three. This thing here is stable, right? It boasts the 5.1 uh, Bluetooth and the 5G connection. Uh, and this thing, magnetic. Uh, I'm going to test that out. And it has a foldable stand. Like I like this because I can sit it right on my new plate. When you see my smoker, I have a place just for this. So this is going to be perfect right here. That one had to stick it on there. But we're going to test the magnetic portion of that as well. Uh, we're going to talk about the keynotes. And keep in mind, I'm going to plug this in while I keep talking. Uh, go ahead and plug in number one. So that when I get out to the grill, I can just stick it in the meat and keep on going. Like I said, it should be about time to wrap the meat and then go from there. So, all right. Let's go with uh, keynote number four. Uh, once again, like I said, you can hook up to five or six probes in here. Uh, that's five pieces of meat. Five meat probes, and then the one for the ambient temperature. You could probably use this for uh, for meat as well, but I would still just use this for ambient temperature. That way, you know the temperature of the meat around it. Uh, this thing is uh, accurate, and we're gonna test that out, right? We're gonna test the accuracy of this, and we're gonna go from there. Keynote number five: You can adjust the backlight on this. Uh, and you do it right from the Inkbird app that you have to download. Keep in mind, you have to download the app in order to use this. It's not like the older versions where you had this particular device and then you had another unit that would sit, you know, you put it on your couch while you're watching uh, the game or whatever. This one here is all from your cell phone, one-stop shop. Uh, so we're going to play around with that when we go outside, and I'm going to show you how that works as well. And then keynote number seven, uh, you can actually store your data from all your cooks, right? So today's cook. Uh, now that I'm signed in, this will stay on, online for about in the cloud for about a, a a month, and you can export your data too. So you know, prior to that month being up, you can probably log in uh, with your laptop. I'm using my iPad right now, um, but on my laptop, I just download on my data for the cooks that I like. So that's definitely something I like, uh, being able to track my data for cooks that I did, and just seeing how my temperatures wave. And last but not least, we're gonna talk about keynote number seven. With the all-in-one Inkbird app, and we're going to talk about this a little bit. It's got about 23 choices of USDA preset meat recipes. Uh, you can monitor your, your temps remotely, which is what I'm concerned with, so I can sit in the house and drink. We're going to adjust this backlight. We're going to play with that. And you can set your uh, your alarm, right? So if, if my on my ambient temp, if my heat gets below 225, I need an alarm. Let me know. I need to put another piece of wood, charcoal in the grill, stuff like that. So anyway, uh, you can customize your countdown timers. And all that. So enough of this talking. Let's get out here and let's get this thing to work, y'all. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, man. I got my ink bird right here with my ambient temperature set. I need to go ahead and plug in my uh, meat probe, and then we're going to open this thing up. Kamado hovering at about 275, y'all. Woo! Let's get a quick look at this. Y'all know I got to do this quick because if you're looking, you ain't cooking. Oh, we're going to talk about that pan down there, too, uh, in another session. That I got actually you see it well worth it if you got the big Joe get you the 18 inch uh, water pan well worth it anyway let me go ahead and set this up and we're gonna go on our way you want to get this as close as you can to the meat because I want to know exactly what the temperature look how easy that is and we're gonna plug this in We're gonna test this out just to make sure. Ooh, I almost dropped my thermal pen. Anyway, look at that 167. Definitely time to wrap this. 165, 164. Time to wrap this. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put my gloves on, and we're gonna take this and what we call braise this meat. Right? We're gonna make this meat tender. Put it on the grill and just cooking it through. It's not gonna make it tender, y'all. You got to do something special to it. So I'm gonna slide this over. Got my handy dandy beef bra. And then we're gonna slide this right on in. Yes, sir. You a hey, tip for the day. You don't want to fill your beef broth above it. You don't want to cover it up. You don't want to smother it. All right. So we will be back. I need to get some more aluminum foil, and then we're gonna play with this app and see how well this thing functions, right? Stay tuned, y'all. All right, we're back, y'all. Check it out. 
I got the Inkbird app open right now. Uh, it's as simple as opening the app, and this is what you will see once you sign in or stay signed in. So the benefit of this is if you got multiple apps, you just select each one. Um, when I say apps, I mean different uh, Inkbird items that you can actually see right here listed. Uh, today we're using the 5G, keyword 5G. Uh, so here we got two probes. Probe number one, which is my meat. You see us at 164.3, which is kind of spot on from what my uh, probe, meat probe told me. Uh, you got number two, which is the oven or the ambient temperatures at 275. Uh, that's doable for me. I see a steady climbing. I'm going to have to go back and choke, choke my time down. But actually, it's brazen right now, so no big deal, right? We're going to leave this temperature alone. I'm not going to mess with the settings on my ambient right now. But what, let's talk about probe number one, all right, because I hadn't set it yet. I want you guys to see. If I click this bar right here, this should show me the graph of how my temps are fluctuating, right? That's when I was actually opening and closing. We just put the probe in. At some point, it should hover and stay at the temperature uh, that you expect it, depending on your device. Right now, this says I'm at 163 with the particular uh, meat probe. But this right here is just showing me the ambient temperature and how it's just hovering. That's the graph, right, for that one. And that's for the meat, Joe. So here, as you can see, my temperatures went down. I had to go out there and check the meat probe because I had it uh, pushed all the way through. So it was telling me it was at 122. Uh, so once I actually corrected it, you see right now it's hovering at 163. That's fine because the temperature is going to kick back up. All right. So for this one, when I click this, I can set this as a timer to let me know when to go back out there and check. For me, I stay woke, so I'm not really going to mess with that. But this is simple as, look at that, 22 minutes. I can do an hour, two hours, five hours. I don't know who's cooking without, set, you know, six hours without looking at it. But, hey, if you're doing that, let me know. I have more time to hang out. But anyway, the key one I want you to see is when I click on that temperature bulb, all of these 23 different items, different foods, you got barbecue, smoked venison, lobster, scallops. You get the picture. So we're looking for beef, right? Oh, uh, you even got beef brisket on here. Nice. All right, here go beef. Look at the cow. So when I click on this, you got rare, medium rare, and you see the temps. Rare 120, medium rare 130, medium 140. You get the picture, right? I like mine well done. Don't shoot the messenger, right? But today, I need this to go to 205, right? So we're going to hit custom. And you see max value? I can spin this wheel. That's kind of cool. Oh, there you go. So check it out. If I click in here, I can actually do 20. Let's back it up. 205. All right. Hit set up. And bam, my temperature is here. You see the temperature highest? I wanted it at 205. That way, because today I am making pulled beef. So anyway, today you see what my temperature is 316. I'm going to choke this all the way back. Um, that's perfect just to get my temperatures up, but I'm about to go in there and set it. And that is pretty much it. Like if I want to see the graph on this, the ambient temperatures, which is more than what I'm concerned with, not so much the meat, um, until I, I get to the point where I'm a uh, stall point, and that's what beef. You see my temperatures fluctuate, and at some point they should just hover out on the Kamado. Anyway, there you have it, y'all. This right here, this is perfect because I'm be honest with you, this is more simple. Hold on, we're gonna, I'll be right back. I'm gonna put this camera up so y'all can see me, and we're gonna talk for a minute. See you on your way. All right, we're back, ladies and gents. Let's talk about this ink bird for a minute, y'all. Uh, I needed one. Seriously, I needed one for my smoker. And I'm going to try my meter on that, my meter uh, probe. But I don't think that the wi wireless particular probe will actually work through the steel. So I definitely needed a wire one. This one, different from the meter because one is 5G. And two, this one, even though it's physically, and everybody knows any device you can physically plug a cable in is going to work 10 times better than Wi-Fi, right? So hands-on with this one, perfect. But what it does for me is I can recharge this. The meter uses batteries. So yeah, unless you got money to spend on batteries all the time, it's easy for me to plug this up because I'm paying that electric bill, y'all. So I can plug this up, charge it up, and I'm good to go. It'd be interesting to know how long the temperatures range. Uh, from fully charged and i'll test that out when i do a brisket so stay tuned for that with the ink bird but this is going to work perfectly because i have three probes actually four on my smoker uh when it's coming 
positioned in different places. So stay tuned for that. We're going to stress test this Inkbird again to make sure the device of choice, which I, I can already say Inkbird is reliable because that's all I use now. And we're going to go from there, y'all. So keep in mind, I can play with my temps. I can customize my temps. Set it and forget it. This thing was a to 10 times easier to set up than my meter probes. I had to go through a whole bunch of smartness in order to do that. Luckily, I'm an IT, so uh, that was pretty easy to do, but it's tedious, right? So what I end up doing is taking my meter probe, using it for my Kamado, and then I'll take my ink burn and leave it outside for my smoker once I get it. So stay tuned for all of that, all in a bundle. Uh, so far, this ink bird is living up to its standards. Uh, the 5G, I'm going to walk down the street, test it out, just see how far it goes. Uh, but I already know with 5G, the good one for me is saving all my information in the cloud. I can download it to my laptop, look at my cooks, and then see where I'm always about process improvement, right? So that's going to help me out tremendously. So anyway, without going into further details, this is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Get you an Inkbird. Get you the 5G. Pretty pretty cheap, pretty reasonable compared to that meter that I paid $300 or so $300 plus, And I got it on sale. But anyway, um, get you an Inkbird, y'all. You can't go wrong. Any model ink bird, you can't go wrong. I like this because it's 5G. We're going to play around that. Uh, 6G is coming out. So, ink bird, holler at me. I know you got a 6G out there. Anyway, we'll see you later. Get your ink bird.